after buying all the computer components, they must be put together. This process is called assembling. It usually takes about 15 minutes installing not included. Although easy, it must be done, so as to avoid unnecessary damage to the system. Installing Motherboard You need to determine if the case has the appropriate risers installed. Risers, or spacers, keep the motherboard from touching the metal surfaces of the case after it is installed, avoiding a short circuit and a rigged computer. Any new case will include some form of riser, metal or plastic. See the picture on side for typical examples. They may or may not be pre-installed into the case. Keep the cabinet panel on the table and fix the motherboard on it. The gentle pressure is enough to mount the motherboard on it. There will be a mechanism to lock the motherboard in place. Identify its working and mount the motherboard accordingly. Tighten the screws on the motherboard to the panel. Install ramp. Keep the ramp module in the slot in the proper way and press downwards. Be careful not to jerk the ram while pushing it down. See that the lock get hold of the ram and stay in the locked position. The ways of inserting the ramp will vary with different kinds of ramp. There are different kinds of RAM like SD RAM, DDR AM, RD RAM, etc. Please refer to the section on RAMs for more details. Now fix the motherboard to the cabinet or the case. Place your motherboard inside the case and fasten it in. Every case fastens motherboards in different ways. Some use plastic pegs, some use metal screws. The expansion cards. Now the expansion cards must be inserted. Insert your video card if it is not on board. There are presently about three different forms of slots on your motherboard, PCI, Isaiah, and AGP. Video cards are presently made for all three of them. AGP stands for Accelerated Graphics Port Video cards made for this slot are generally more high-tech slash performance. AGP slots more than likely is the only small, brown, slot on your mother's board. PCI you probably have the most of these snare white and little longer than AGP. Isaiah, these are long and black. Insert your video card and snug it in there firmly. Make sure that the other side of the card can be come out of the motherboard's back side. Screw the card in that place. Similar fit the other cards in its respective places. Installing hard disk. Ensure that the hard drive is set up to be the master drive on its IDE cable. Each IDE cable can support up to two IDE devices, such as hard drives, CD drives, zip drives, etc. But in order for this to work, one IDE device must be designated as a master device, and one must be designated as a slave device. You cannot have two master devices or two slave devices on a single cable. This must be later configured in the BIOS. Examine the top of your hard drive. There should be a chart there depicting the necessary jumper settings to make the drive a master or slave device. Otherwise, the chart will be somewhere on the body of the drive. The set of jumpers will be on the back end of the drive. Ensure that they are set correctly to enable the drive as a master. You may need a set of tweezers to move the jumpers. Insert the hard drive into the 3.5 drive tray and screw it in securely on both sides. Installing optical drive DVD slash CDROM. Ensure that at least one full sized 5.25 bay is open in the case. Examine the jumper settings on the top of the drive, as you did with the hard drive. Ensure that the drive is set to master. If your case came with rails, screw them to the sides of the CD drive and insert it into the front of the case until it clicks into place. Otherwise, slide the drive into the front of the computer until the face plate of the drive is flush with the front bezel of the case and the screw holes along the side of the drive line up with the case. Then, screw it in securely on both sides. Attach the power cable same as the hard drive power cable to the drive. Attach your secondary ID cable to the drive. Note that generally this should be a regular 40-wire ID cable, 
not the 80 wire UDMA ID cable that is used for the hard drive. Some DVD drives will use the 80 wire cable, however. Set the jumper on the CD from drive. Power supply. There are two main kinds of motherboards and cabinets available today with reference to power supply, BAT and ADX. They have different connectors. They are shown below. These wires come from the SMPs of the cabinet. The figure on the right shows the power cables coming out of the SMPs 